First of all, the question comes to your mind is what is prism or what is prism meshing and why do we need it? Prism meshing or prism layers are created when we extrude surface mesh elements in, in the normal direction. If we extrude tri elements, we get prism. If we extrude quad elements, we get hexa. But this general extruded layers of mesh is called as prism layers. Usually we have three to five prism elements that are extruded from a surface. Their height increases gradually so that it matches the size of the tetra or hexa elements within the core of the geometry. This is where we have the prism layers. As you can see, these are the prism layers in the zoom view. Now, why do we need to have prism layers? Accuracy of the numerical simulations within CFD depends on capturing the boundary layer phenomenon. The heat transfer coefficient, the turbulence, the pressure drop, all this physics are strongly related to how closely or how accurately we capture the phenomenon that is happening near walls or the flow that is happening near walls. In order to capture this, we need to have accurate mesh near the wall or a finer or unidirectional mesh near the walls. Hence, the mesh should be orthogonal to the surface boundaries. Mesh should also be perpendicular to flow direction to reduce numerical diffusion. Extruding prism layers in direction normal to the surface satisfies all these requirements and hence we generally recommend prism layers in order to capture phenomenon of flow that is happening near the boundaries. Now what is the procedure for creating prism layers? First step is to give the global prism parameters. For this we go to global mesh setup then to prism meshing parameters and we specify the global prism settings. In the next step we select the surfaces from which we have to grow the prism layers. For this we go to mesh then surface mesh setup and then we click on the surfaces or boundaries from which we have to grow the prisms. In the next step we set the local prism parameters on individual surfaces. Local prism parameters will override the global prism parameters. If we do not need to specify any local prism parameters we specify zero or leave it blank. In order to specify the local prism parameters, we go to mesh, surface mesh setup, we select the surface and then we specify parameters like height ratio and number of layers. In the next step, we run the measure. From existing mesh, prism layers can be created from existing volume mesh or from the surface mesh. If required, this option can run automatically after volume mesh generation. For this, we go to mesh, compute mesh, prism mesh and then we select existing mesh and click on compute. 